Hello and welcome to the Odile Movement and Bodywork community. I am so grateful that you are part of my community, whether you take classes in person or virtually, or just you live far away and you send me emails every once in a while letting me know what your movement practice is. Um, I feel so lucky to have worked with so many amazing people, whether it was up in Northern California, down here in San Diego, or um, having met you in Rancho La Puerta or other places in the world. Um, I just am so grateful that you are part of this community. So one of my biggest intentions when I open my studio doors was that the practice that we do on the mats, the practice, the physical practice that we do, whether it's Pilates or Pilates-ish style exercises, um, whether it's a gyrotonic exercises or um, massage body work sessions, that those practices, those self-care qualities, those bits of awareness that we discover is translated outside. So if you take my Zoom classes and on my equipment and um, private sessions with me, you know that one of my biggest uh, intentions is that you take the lessons that we learn together and you take them to the outside and you practice them. So if you are lifting a heavy bag of groceries, you are doing that with your core. If you are putting something in that shelf up above, you're doing that with good shoulder mechanics. And if you've done something like a big long run or a stretch or you've somehow hurt yourself, you have some tools to help you kind of get back into alignment. So, so that's a huge intention of mine. Taking that a little bit further and starting to challenge that feeling a little bit more, I am really inspired to not only look at the physical and how we take care of our physical self, but I'm also inspired to look at how we ex extend and expand our consciousness around the way we move, the way we kind of take self-care, how do we translate that to the outside world, to our relationship with our friends and family and our kids? Um, are we in alignment only when we're on the mat? Hopefully not, you know? We are in alignment when we move through the day and if we don't know how to do something, we're conscious and we're aware of that and we can communicate. I'm not really sure how to respond here or what to do there. So I'm going to bring in um, some more concepts of social change. And these are ones that are either really close to my heart or uh, ones that I feel are really important and maybe even ones that I've struggled with myself. And how, how am I going to learn um, to be in my alignment? How am I going to learn to challenge some of my limitations and learn to stretch some of my emotional muscles around certain issues, particularly around um, whether it's race, gender, religion, um, any of those places where I might have my own biases, whether they're conscious or unconscious, and how can I unearth those so I can see them so clearly, so I can gain some clarity and empathy and learn, learn. So my intention for the studio and the space is that it be truly a space of not just the inner alignment and inner learning in terms of the physical the anatomy and biomechanics that's really wonderful but how does that translate to the outside world so i hope you join me i invite you to join me i'm going to start bringing in more of this into um, the updates the studio updates once a month so i just kind of wanted to give a little precursor so for you to keep your eyes peeled for those 